Is it possible for those who have passed on to make contact with those still living? Can the departed watch over loved ones they've left behind? Can they pass on warnings from the afterlife? There's no definitive answer, but sometimes things occur that truly make us think. For more than 20 years, Anne Daly and her husband Owen lived in the same house. It was comfortable, surrounded by gardens and trees in Sydney's northern suburbs. It was quiet, the neighbours were friendly, the kind of place where nothing much out of the ordinary ever happens. That was until the night of August the 2nd in 1990, when a chain of events began, events that defy explanation. I went to sleep and then I don't remember what time it was but sometime during the night I just seemed to get this exceptionally strong message that made me wake up and the message was that the tree next door is going to fall on your house. I said, oh, don't be silly, you, you're just having a dream. Um, there'd been some storms around at the time. Uh, I said, you're just having a dream, uh, go back to sleep. She said, no, no, I've had this really strong premonition that a tree's going to fall on the house. And, We'd never had anything like that before, and, um, but I still wasn't convinced, and I just said, look, just roll over and go back to bed. The next morning, that premonition was still playing on Anne's mind. As she prepared for work, she thought about it more and more. There hadn't really been a voice. There certainly hadn't been a ghost. But there had been a clear warning. And somehow, Anne felt that warning had come from her dead father, that somehow he was watching over her. Anne was so concerned, she took some precautions, just to be on the safe side. I never ever lock my animals in the house, but my little Maltese sleeps under a tree which was near the tree, so I thought maybe if it fell, she could be under it at the time. So I locked her in the house and went off to work. And Dali, can I help you? An hour later, it happened. A phone call from a neighbour telling Anne exactly what she'd feared. What she'd known was going to happen. The tree next door had crashed to the ground, into the Dali house. I wasn't terribly shocked because I was expecting it to happen. When I came home, I was fairly horrified because there was quite a, a lot of mess and I couldn't see what sort of damage had been done to the house. A dream, a warning beyond the grave. Well, we certainly know the disaster did happen, as predicted. And Dally has the photographs to prove it. And she's convinced one of those photos proves something else, something quite eerie that her dead father was in fact watching over her the photographs were taken for the insurance companies at the time it all seemed pretty routine just the thing you do after an accident some were taken by the owner of the tree david o'brien some by anne herself i had mine developed and there was nothing abnormal in them and then when I saw this photograph that David had taken, I was convinced that it was my father standing in the window and my father had died three years before. Anne Daly's father had died at the age of 89. So, if it was him looking down from the window, why does the image seem to be that of a much younger man? Well, Anne found the answer in the family album. A photograph of her parents' wedding taken more than 40 years earlier. She's convinced this shot of her father is the spitting image of the mysterious man in the window. Her neighbours, David and Cheryl O'Brien, now think so too. You know, I had no idea who it was. It, it didn't mean anything to me. And uh, Anne said that, you know, it looked very like her father. And it's only fairly recently that she said, you know, she had a photograph, of a, a wedding photograph, I think it was where she said it looked very much like it. And uh, she showed it to us and, you know, you can see very real resemblance. <laughs> it's no problem about resemblance. 
mean, I couldn't have identified it as, as a person. Um, but I've always been rather skeptical of photos that, you know, people have said had ghosts in them. But I know this photo wasn't doctored. So, you know, if there was something there, it was there when the photo was taken. Um, and when Anne showed us the, the wedding photo, it certainly looked like the father. That helped to give an image to what was in the, in the window. We were very close towards the last few years. And I remember having him in my home one day and I was sitting at the kitchen table and I said, when you pass over, if you can possibly come back and let me know that you're all right, will you do that? And he just laughed because he didn't believe in a life hereafter. And he just said, um, when you're dead, you're dead, Anne. That's it. So I said, yes, but if you can, will you do it? And he just laughed and didn't answer me. And it was three years later that I was convinced he was letting me know that he was just around.